Yo, what's up, people? Uh, this is me, Kalopsia, coming at you with an alternate draft style battle. Um, we have already battled um, Matrix in this league. Uh, that battle is up on his channel, but this week we are facing a Prader 54, I think, yeah. Uh, and I'm not totally sure what his name is in this league, but in the regular we deal with named like uh, Matt Chesney State Slowpoke or something, I think. So, yeah. Uh, let's see how this goes. Good luck and have fun to him. So, he does have a pretty slow team except for the right shoe. Which is uh, here for the uh, Jarodos, I think. So he has two Trick Room Setters and like two, maybe three Sweepers. Like he could also go Chlorophyll Wildbeam, I guess. Like, right, you maybe have uh, some day. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure about that actually. But my plan is here to uh, lead Darmanitan. And Spiritum to like threaten the trick room mode and his fast mode. Uh, and I'm gonna bring Jarados and Buswell in the back. Uh, because they can function like in and uh, not in trick room. So yeah, we'll go with that plan at first. Uh, I'm really counting on either Spiritum or possible to carry me this much but we'll see how things pan out okay so he's probably going for the like fake out fake out trick room I would assume that's okay I'm just gonna go nasty plot and like I could U-turn but expecting the fake out like I, I don't think he uh, wants to take uh, a nice cool crash to his uh, Gorgonist. It's like sending in the bus wall seems pretty safe I think. Just keeping that arm and they're in the back. Oh okay. Well, I uh, did not expect that. Well, we tanked that. Nasa blood, and did the gold guys go for Trick Room? It did, okay, awesome. So, I think now I want to prioritize getting rid of this right shoe so that I can actually send in my. And then my uh, my Jarodas uh, eventually safely. And let's just hit this Gorgeist. Man, it might be a, the Lewis ping, the bus wall, but it's okay. Let's scout to see if this uh, white shoe is focus sash or not. Okay, so it, he goes for the Dynamax actually. I would expect like he maxing uh, the Red Rock or something in the back, but hey, but maybe maybe his sweetest pulse will uh, like. Can it just one AK or much brutal? No, can can And that is a focus session, okay. Okay, we tank that easily. 
the defense drop, like the stage life is gonna do some damage. Yeah, not that much, but it's okay. Uh, this Max Phantasm, or I'm pretty sure it's gonna KO. And we get the plus three with the Fell Stinger, which is awesome. If he lets us. So, plus two, Max Fantasen. Yeah. No, Rissa Spirit, but then that was like his only chance of living that, I think. Really ballsy going for a uh, Dynamax with uh, when you're facing a uh, Custom Spirit on but I guess. I don't know what these uh, ones in the back are. Maybe that was his only option. So we get the plus 3 and plus 4. So now we have like signal with plus 2 spirit and then a plus 4 plus 1. Well. Okay, so then uh, Joke Algae. And the slow bro. So I feel like the Tragalgy would have been a better Dynamax option here, but hey, I'll take it. And I don't really want to reveal that I actually have. I'm sure that plus two will just KO. Like I could go for the Max Phantasm, the Max Mindstorm, but I don't need to reveal it to win. Back. Okay, it barely doesn't care, but I don't think it matters. Like, uh, I don't think he has a way to KO me. I am AV Buswell, and I am uh, so. A spirit tube seems like the slowest thing on the field. Uh, I, might, I may have won a speed tie with slow bro. Oh, this bus wall is uh, cutting off. And, uh, to be honest, this uh, spirit tube has been popping, popping off too. more to say, let's just do the fell stinger. Okay, so I'm wondering how it's going to adjust to this. I would bet he, uh, he can't let me nasty plot with the uh, with the uh, rock to uh, rock ghost spirit tomb. Would be my guess if I leave the same thing. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the same thing, honestly. Like, uh, see how is going to stop it. I don't know if it can, honestly. Oh, that's the wrong lid. Uh, Spirit up and bus wall and Gyarados in the back. I think. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, he might. He might. The question is. To see prioritize like not threatening and set up the nice to plot or does he like uh, set up the trick room, let me set up nice to plot but bring the red rock which couldn't be like A B or something. Okay, so no trick room.
good as Earthquake to be honest. And switch in the gyro dose. Like if he fakes out me, but why wouldn't he, why he could have faked out me last turn? Does he have fake out? Should have fake out. I'm gonna do it. Let's see how this plays out. Like he could, if he fakes out the Dormanita. I'm in a bad spot. That's expected. Like it could also be a weakness for the Dragology. I am choice banded Dormanita, so this will do a lot of damage. Take away to don't discuss if he doesn't fake out. Okay, no fake out. So he's probably targeting the. Uh, okay, so it's uh, it's uh, that's very okay. Okay, it wouldn't have been now when it KO either way, but so the Charados spot. Yeah. That hurt a lot. Oh, that's a crit. Would it be okay? Yeah, with him helping hand it probably without without it. I'm not sure. That like I think Buswall is the only thing that can take uh Spriton can take some hits. And he's gonna have to I think Bus wall just to outspeed the Dragalgy. And like Bus wall won't take that much from the Earthquake. So if I max Flutterby and get a single target. So now I will be lowering his uh, be lowering his special attack while I get the plus one and with a single uh, target earthquake I think it could kill uh, but he did drop my attack on the Dormantan so uh, I might not and I don't think I don't know if it's single target when I hit my own Pokemon too so we'll see. Victor Mountain takes this. Oh, it barely takes it. And I don't get the kill. But. Yeah, okay. Uh, of course, Thor Mountain goes first, so I'll just get the kill with this. And now I can honestly just switch out the Mountain. Uh, but that's not the answer back. Probably Diamantan is better to just keep in the back for I will see though. I can hit a red shark, I guess. Red shark and wild blood. So we can set up trick room. So I think it's better to just keep it in the back and let it KO whatever stays on the field to be honest. Uh, kinda want to max further by. But also not. I don't know if this chaos probably not. If I'm gonna be honest. It's like a max further buying. To lower the special attack and wild plume. Could be the play. Take the uh, oh, uh, max flood by. Just because I don't think I will KO. Oh, that absolutely would have KO. Well, that's uh, that's a shame, but I guess it 
shouldn't matter, I think. So, no point in not revealing this now. This is the strongest max knight all day, bro. The same. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, the berry. Well, then it wouldn't uh, kill. Probably not this either. Yeah. Continuing to lower my attack, but I'm neutral this turn either way. It depends how much damage I can do to this wild bloom. Not that much actually. And it's leftovers. The Tarmantans should be able to one of killed. Protect Red Drop. No, it doesn't. So I uh, get one plus one, and let's see if he goes for another Spring Sap or not. Uh, it's not. He can't do anything. I think. And he just messaged me. Why did the random draft give you such a best team? Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It, uh, it's uh, pretty offensive, that, uh, that's for sure. I think it's... If you don't have the right tools to deal with it, uh, it's just hard. Well, that's that. GG's to Apreator. Thanks for the match, and I hope you uh, will have some luck in your last battle of the season. I'll see you guys another time.